Hey guys, how are we doing today? Today's video, I wanted to go and talk about a couple different things. First things first, let's go and talk about, in my opinion, the five hottest characters right now in terms of the upcoming GAC for 5e5 and also for Conquest and a little bit of Fleet as well. And then I want to also talk about some of these new uh, hints, or not really hints, but pretty much if you guys didn't watch the Operation Metaverse's interview with the 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 devs, the devs with CG Crum, and I think it was Mr. Mouse. Um, at the very ending of that stream, or not stream, but in the video when they were interviewing um, the CG devs, they did mention they hinted towards an auto of the Sith raid, this heroic Sith triumphant raid. So, you know, I guess first things first, let's go into that talk actually now that I think about it, because I think that's probably the most important thing about today's video is just that alone. Um, I don't know exactly what timestamp it was in that video, but I do know that it was mentioned towards the ending of that video. Um, but just to, to put things into perspective right now, um, there is a guy that can solo it already. I mean, a couple guys, a couple guys that can solo it. You know, there's two GLs. Uh, where are they? There we go. Galactic Legends all the way to the top. There is Kylo, Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, and then we got now Master Kenobi. Master Kenobi team is a bit more... It's a bit more tedious, I would say, than the Kylo team. Kylo is very, like, easy-peasy, 20 minutes and you're good to go. Um, and that's been, like, a thing for the last, you know, ever since he's really come out. It's been two, three years now. So, you know, now with the talk of Lord Vader, because this interview was mainly directed towards Lord Vader, and <laughs> all talk concerning him and a bit of Maul as well. Um, but they did talk about Lord Vader, and if you guys haven't really, really read his kit or, you know, looked into it that much, because I know a lot of people out there probably won't be getting him first time around maybe second um not really second he's a gl i'm not sure i'm saying second or first time if you guys are just so far out like i am you probably won't have to worry about this but if you haven't looked at his kit he does have a special that uh pretty much just ramps up mastery for all allies um all dark side allies that is and this can be stacking until the end of the encounter so the end of the encounter is like in a, in a raid sense. This can last the entirety of a Sith raid. So I'm fairly sure I would put some money on it that Lord Vader, maybe perhaps without Maul or with Maul, he can somehow auto or getting close to autoing the Sith raid. So now with this guy coming out in the game, there's going to be three different Galactic Legend teams that could possibly solo the Sith raid. And with that in mind, and then, you know, now them talking about solo, or not soloing, but autoing the Sith Raid. That is a pretty big deal. Because right now in the game, <laughs> I would say more than ever, um, having more Merc Guilds, the Mercenary Guilds, to go to a different guild and going to uh, help them with their Sith Raids or Challenge Rancor Raids to get better gear, this is not going to be posing a, a bit of an issue because in your own guild, your home guild, you're going to be probably able to auto the Sith Raid and it's going to be all mix and match of rewards, right? Um, not going to be the best rewards. It's going to be all, all the same across the table. But now, if we're going to be going into Merc Raids, they're going to be even more important than ever before. Um, because you want to get those better rewards. But anyways, I guess this first part is they're going to, in some time soon, I'm not sure if it's going to be this year or next year or whenever it's going to be, but they do have a plan of autoing the Sith Raid. And if that's the case, pretty much every single raid so far... Let's just go into the, some of the raids because that would mean that there's just, let's just count them, count them all up. We got one, two, three, four. We have four different raids. That would mean that three of the four you can auto now. And that is a big, big deal. Um, take it as you will. I know the challenge Rancor has not even been out that long and it's already, it's not not even close to being soloable, but you can beat it, you know, in your, in your guild, like pretty easily, like in the next... You know, maybe it starts right now and you can finish it in like, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes if everybody's on doing their thing. I mean, you can go through it really, really fast. So now with the the idea of an autoing of the Sith raid, that really makes me, it makes me hope for more raids. But at the same time, I do realize that they have not really much, um, you know, time or maybe they just... They, they said in the past, the, the wording is they just don't really have any plans right now to add more raids. But, you know, that's a big deal. Autoing a Sith raid that's been out for a long time that, you know, you get pretty good rewards from is pretty, it's a pretty big deal in my opinion. Because if you auto like the tank raid or the old school Rancor, yeah, you can get some nice pieces every so often. But for the most part, you're not going to get anything really good. But in the Sith raid, however, you can get some pretty decent rewards, even if you don't get, you know, the top 10. I mean, you can still get a lot of these nice slicing and in the boxes, you can get a nice bit of the gear 12 pieces that everybody still needs right 
Um, I even dare say nowadays that the Sith Raid is still a better Merc to hit for a, for a Merc Raid than the Challenge Rancor is, because right now the only difference between the two is that this one offers Relic 8 materials when the Sith Raid does not. Um, and this isn't even really the big concern with Relic 8s, it's the other parts, the implants, the, the detectors, that's really the big issue with Relic 8s. Um, so, yeah, I, <laughs> I mean, I would hope if a bit going on the same topic of relics and relic nines i would hope if they release relic nines that they have some either new raid or new mode to help us get it and they don't just like here it is you got to put all this stuff towards it and you can only get it if you like scrap all these other pieces you know that that'd be pretty garbage in my opinion but anyways sith raid's gonna be audible sometime in the near future we have no idea when but it's on their their table of things to 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 do so that's the first part of the video hopefully that wasn't too long but the next part i want to talk about is going to be five characters that I find to be very, very hot right now in terms of their usefulness all around the game, but more importantly in Grand Arena and also in Conquest, because right now Conquest is going to be going on for the next month, month to two months. Um, so it's going to be a pretty prevalent mode to play in the game, even though it pretty much sucks. Um, but you got to play to get these mall shards, right? So let's go and talk about some of these five characters. Um, it could be characters and teams. I wanted to kind of go just over to characters in this video. So... Starting off, let's go over a guy that's great for Conquest. He is actually a GL, so this is going to be Master Luke. Master Luke is amazing in Conquest and also in GAC because for Conquest, he is used for a lot of different feats. Like, I remember the Deathmark feat for getting some kills with Deathmark, getting some kills with Mandalorians, and even for Bad Batch. He is the leadership to use because of his leadership. He can offer the uh, inherited teachings and uh, pretty much just give him some, some more damage, calling people in to assist. And it says right here, call a target other light side ally to assist, dealing 90% less damage, but then they deal true damage. So this is really important for some of these feats because you got to get kills with these other factions, rather fa not factions, but other characters. So it's a great one to have here. And even not inside those particular getting kills feats, you need some other feats either with non-supports or rather with non non um, attackers or just full supports and light side and evasion with Yoda. I mean, he is an all-around best GL for for conquest, right? And then for his GAC uses, I know we just got some changes to Kenobi and some of those counters. So he's going to be an even more important counter to a Kenobi going forward. And just all-around uses. I think I think now, if you want to play in a part conquest into the ranking rankings of GL, I, I would say Luke is now way up there in terms of of GLs. So that's just uh, my thoughts there. First one is Luke. Next one let's go over and talk about is Darth Revan. So this, it's really the whole Sith Empire team, but I guess Darth Revan because he is the leadership. So for this team and for him in particular, this is more of a GAC and Territory War type of a team to set on defense just because the sole fact alone that my guy Darth Vader now does no damage. He, with his cooling blade at least, he does not do that much damage, right? And uh, that's a pretty big counter, at least for me, where, where I use my uh, my Vader in the past, he was either used to kill like a GL Ray or killing a Darth Revan. And now he's probably not gonna be able to kill either of those. Not probably, he is not able to kill either of those right now because of Darth Vader's bit, bit of a change slash nerf. So. This guy is now very important to have on defense, but also very scary to have to fight on defense. So if I were you guys, I would make this guy as fast as possible because I would say for me, at least I'm in division two. I'm not sure if everybody's around where I'm at in the game, but my next go-to counter to this team would be bounty hunters. And for the bounty hunters to work, I would have to have a very fast Jango Fett and a very fast Bosk, or not Jango Fett, Grief Karga and a very fast Bosk to outspeed this guy. And then to get the whole team ramping up with turn meter and damage. So if you if you outspeed all those bounty hunters with a Darth Revan, then what other counter are you going to use? It's probably going to be maybe a CLS, maybe a Padme. Maybe the slow Padme comes back into play. But also, I feel like people would just go up and, and end up using a Galactic Legend. And that's not what you want to do in GAC. So I would say this guy is very, very important right now for GAC uses. Darth Revan, especially now the change to Darth Vader. So that's him. The next one I want to go talk about is uh, the Armorer. If I can find out where she is. Armorer is now very, very good. I know we just got changes to um, some of the Kenobi counters like the Emperor or um, Kylo to, you know, 
some of those uh, Master Kenobi cat teams because of the AI changes. But even with that being part of it, I still think the armor is one of the best um, supports in the game currently because now with the Watt changes, Watt's AI, not AI, I keep saying AI, Watt's tech for the weapon tech doesn't really do much anymore because there's not enough um, offense to be you know spread around. But the armorer still has the amazing Beskar that she can provide to your GLs. And even outside of the Galactic Legends, you can still place her in a nice Mandalorian team or another mixed match of a team um, and still get the uses of her Beskar ingots and the armor. So um, this Zeta is still a great Zeta. I would say um, put it on her, even if you guys don't have her very high gear. I think it's a great Zeta, pretty much. This is just like a Wat Sambor, and I would say even better than Wat Sambor currently because you can spread the exact same pieces of armor to everybody, potentially. Um, and that's a huge thing. So, you know, using her to counter some other GLs um, definitely is still a nice thing, and you can even save Watt for defense. And I think it's a pretty big thing in GAC right now. So, armor number three here on the list. Next up, let's go and talk about... <laughs> This one's a bit more for fleets and I guess for Conquest, not really for GAC. Maybe you can pull off some GAC uses out of this guy, but it's going to be Biston. So again, Biston going to be here on this list. I guess you can include um, Scarif Rebel Pathfinder as well, but really just talking about Biston, guys. Biston's great for his ship. He is a very, very huge cornerstone piece to the Rebel fleet in killing either Galactic... I was going to say Galactic Legend Executor. Wow. Um... It, you could you could still kill Executor, but uh, you have to really make sure that you don't fight those maxed out Relic 8, 7 star Executors with, uh, you know, Xanu Blood starting lineup. But you can still beat pretty much every single one outside of that. Um, and then also with uh, the counters, you can counter pretty much everything else, to my knowledge, besides um, at times Malevolences. You can still kill some Negotiators, which is a huge thing still. So it's a nice little team to keep on offense, get a nice easy win. And then set something different and strong for all, or for defense rather. So I think he's a great one. And also, if uh, we're still talking about conquest here and going back to some of the feats for conquest, one of the biggest feats here, um, to my recollection, was the frenzy feats and then also the um, rebel fighter feats as well. So with all those different feats, so right here, rebel fighters right there, and then also I think in sector three there's the frenzy feats. Those two. Biston is very, very clutch. I actually use Biston a lot more than I thought this conquest, um, this conquest season, if you want to call it that. And he he was very, very nice to have on my on my team because without him, I would have to probably buy one of those one of those uh, discs or whatever they're called, one of those stim things, to get my my frenzy done. And I didn't have that. I still can't find one for the frenzy one. So I'm glad I have Biston for that. So I guess dif two different uses here: conquest for frenzy and some feats. And then also for for uh, for fleet and for ships, so that's him. And the last but not least here, this is a pretty new one, is gonna be if we go down to Empire, is gonna be Royal Guard. So this one's pretty much here on this list, not because of Lord Vader's release, but just because this person, this character, the Royal Guard for Empire now is a very very strong tank. Um, the Zeta now allows this person to get even more max health, and then they uh, recover some more health as well. And of course, a taunt for a turn whenever somebody falls below half health. But also, they have a, a taunt on one of their abilities and just some more retribution, which can mean that if they get hit, they can counterattack and do a basic to stun somebody if they have more than 50% health. So now, this is a very important tank for some Empire fleets regarding Vader. If you don't want to be using Vader um, on some of those old teams we can't use them on anymore. Well, now you can use him on offense with Royal Guard and Emperor Palpatine, maybe some Thrawn, and still have a very decent team for offense to kill some good stuff. So I think Royal Guard's a nice one. I mean, I guess for a fleet as well, this ship is great if you want to rock an Empire fleet for the Chimera or for the uh, Executrix. It's a great one to have. So some more uses here. I would say Royal Guard's definitely a hot character right now in the game. So with that all being said, I think that's about it. I just want to go over some talk about uh, auto on the Sith raid and just kind of get some of your guys' thoughts on that. Um, and then also some of these different characters, some just pretty uh, easy five different characters I feel like are very, very nice to have right now in the game. And their usefulness have uh, gone up probably even more so in, in the past um, because of the changes to some of these characters. So that's about it, guys. If you have any other ideas for videos you'd like me to go and cover, let me know, guys. Um, but that's it. Love to hear your guys' comments down below. Until next time, I will see y'all later. Peace out. Have a good one. See you guys.